Hello. In this video, I'm going to continue the discussion about amines and basicity, focusing on the alkyl amines. Now, I'm actually going to start off by putting up here, putting up ammonia, and then uh, reminding us of the equilibrium reaction that we're talking about in terms of understanding the basicity of different species. And in the case of uh, plus, uh, plus, uh, and the, the reference reaction for comparing basicity is the reaction of the base with water, as uh, water is the acid, uh, to form the conjugate acid and hydroxide anion. And this. So, and then it's this reaction that forms the definition of KB for its law of mass action, and for which we get PKB. And the lower values of PKB are higher values of B, and all things are, are good. And, and higher values of B are, are, are stronger bases, sorry. So PKA, B of ammonia is 4.75, and, yeah, and the PKA of ammonium cation is... Uh, 9.25, and this is just a reminder of the two different, or the relationship between PKA and PKA. PKA of conjugate acid and PKB of conjugate base, if we're in water, they add up to 14, which is the PKW of water. Uh, so we're going to start by just, I'm just going to start by sharing with you the PKAs of a couple of Alkylamines, primary alkylamines, methylamine, ethylamine, isopropylamine, and you're, and you're going to see some similarities here. So these are these are this, the amines. We put a heading over here, PKB, and I'll write in some numbers. Uh, Three point four. 3.4. That's pretty similar, isn't it? Right. Uh, okay. So you'll notice that all of these are slightly more basic than the uh, and uh, or slightly more basic than ammonia, and you know, this represents a pK. A of the conjugate acid or the ammonium salt of 10.6. Yeah, so they're all, you know, all of these with protonated have a pKa of 10.6. So generally, one alkyl group increases or decreases the pKb uh, by a little bit, and and so maybe this is surprising, maybe not, but you can if you. Know, been around organic chemistry for a while, you probably know that alkyl groups are electron donating by induction. And so, and electron donating groups, right, increase the electron density at things. They stabilize cations. Right? So the, the so the cation on the RNH3 plus is stabilized uh, by electron donating groups. And this also increases the electron density on the amine nitrogen itself, and so that, that plays to the lowest definition of, of acids and bases. All right. Um, uh, shall I add another alkyl group? Yes, let's add another alkyl group. Dimethylamine. I'm going to do diethylamine in here. Uh, dimethylamine has a KB of 3.3, and diethylamine has a KB of 3.0. All right, so that means the uh, the pKa's of the conjugate acids 10.7 and 11, uh, and so adding an extra an, an extra alkyl group increases the basicity by just a tiny bit more, but not not as big as the difference between ammonia and and, a, and one alkyl group. And I'm just going to finish off by at least putting in trimethylamine 
and triethylamine. And you'll see that this is just still not a very big change. In fact, something interesting happens with trimethylamine. It's not quite as interesting as triethylamine, so, but it's, it's still interesting. Tri triethylamine, trimethylamine is less basic than diethylamine. And triethylamine is less basic than diethylamine by just a little bit. The, the, the effect of ethyl is not as big as in methyl. And this is a really interesting situation. And it's generally explained. It is less basic because of poor solvation of the anion, the, which is due to the the alkyl groups, which are hydrophobic, right? Um, if you examine the the pKa's of the alcohols, the the alcohols as you put bigger and, and more sterically hindered groups on them also get less acidic uh, for the same solvation problem. So here is a, a similar phenomenon. The, but it's still, we're not talking about big differences here. Um, and then and trimethylamine is still more basic than uh, ammonia. And even so, we're still only talking about a two pKa unit range, really. Um, I just wanted to do two more examples. We will be talking about some of these. I want to just do cyclohexylamine uh, as another as one another primary amine. I'm going to use cyclohexylamine in the next video, so at least want to share it here. Cyclohexylamine is similar in, in basicity to dimethylamine, which is I guess interesting, uh, though coincidental. And I want to do piperidine, which is this cyclic secondary amine. Uh, here. And piperidine has a basicity of 2 point, you know, as a pKb of 2.8. So it is actually a little bit more basic than the other alkylamines. And possibly that's because it's in the, in the ring. The ring uh, ties the other alkyl groups back around and keeps them out of the way of the solvent. Uh, so, but still, we're not talking about a large pKb or pKa unit range here. Okay. So here are some, some example alkyl amines. In the next video, I'll talk about uh, the effect of resonance on amine basicity. Thank you for watching.